Today, we are gonna combine two of my favorite tools, Lovable AI, which is an AI app builder, and High Level, which is the ultimate CRM that I've been using for years. And we're gonna put them together to one, create an interactive quiz application inside of Lovable that then will take all the leads that generate from that quiz directly into High Level so I can then nurture those leads. So stay tuned and build along with us. So if you've been watching the channel over the last several months, you know that we've been playing around a lot with AI coding and AI automations, but more importantly, two of my favorite tools have really come out. One being Lovable AI, where you can create apps in minutes, like serious web apps that can be used to pretty much do anything, where you can replicate any kind of the software that you're using now and then do even more. But what's happening is that a lot of people are creating these apps and they're one, they're not launching it, or two, they're not using it to make money or more importantly, generate leads. And today we're gonna kind of break that barrier a little bit by combining two of my favorite tools at this moment in time to make it super fun and interactive. Now, if you've also been watching, uh, lately I've been saying the world of like lead magnets and downloading lists is kind of dead. And now more importantly, what's kind of on the rise is basically creating interactive apps or creating apps that are very personalized to the user to make it a worthwhile experience. So today what we're gonna do is create an app inside a lovable AI, which is gonna be an interactive quiz, which is gonna be a little bit, bit of a better quiz that will calculate scores and do a little bit more than what I normal quiz would do. And then I'm gonna send all the leads that generate from that quiz directly into high level so then I can nurture those leads. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So I have Lovable in front of me and I can go ahead and create a quiz directly in here. But if you guys have been seeing everything that I've been doing, I actually like to use a different AI, Claude, in order to make it where it just kind of generates the quiz for me and makes it super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into Claude AI. You can use ChatGTP5, whatever's easier for you. But no matter what, you're definitely gonna to wanna to use an AI to kind of like put it together for you so then you don't have to really think about it and just make it super easy. And for this example, we're gonna to wanna to do that. I need you to create an interactive quiz that will basically see whether or not a person's automations are right for their business or just quiz them to see if they have the right automations in place. If they don't, then calculate a score and make three levels so we can rate what kind of help they need, okay? So remember, know that this is to generate leads for my AI automations company, Architects, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let it write the quiz. Now, the reason I do it this way is, one, just understand that Claude will actually try to write the quiz and make the application. What we're gonna do is hopefully it'll just give us all the assets and it's gonna create the artifact, which is kind of what I wanna do. Now, just so you understand, this is literally how I do a lot of my work when I come into building apps. I usually like think about the ideas inside of Claude and then from Claude, I take all of this and then I put it into Lovable. The reason I put it into Lovable is because Lovable has the ability of storing memory as far as creating a database, it also has the ability of having a site published where I can add my own domain. Again, you could do it in here, but it'd be under Claude. Again, that's not really favorable. But then also what happens is if I already have all my systems set up in high level, like my nurture sequences, the ability of capturing my leads, connecting with the clients via text and email, I won't be able to do it inside a Lovable. I'll have to basically create another app in order to do that. Why go through all that trouble, right? Hey, we wanna interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We wanna thank you for being here, but more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with the group setting for other people that are also working in high level. Level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this, and also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need, and if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. So what's happening right now is that Claude, on the right hand side is creating the artifacts. It's actually gonna to try to create the quiz. Now, as long as I get a decent like working quiz, what I'll do is then I'll switch it over to Lovable and then go from there. Now granted, oh, still going. It's creating a little bit of each HTML, but yeah, it's got an interactive quiz and everything else. Now notice if I could go ahead and try to do this, 
inside a high level. The problem is when you do it inside a high level, it's going to take time. You have to create the percentage calculations and all that other stuff. So it's a little bit of annoying in order to do that. But once I get like something of a working quiz in here inside of an artifact, what I'll do then is I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it back on lovable. Now, pretty interesting, right? It uh, gives it a score, super easy. And again, I'm just going through it. All right, automation, optimization, level two, optimization needed, and it gives you a score. Next step, schedule free, boom, perfect. I'll be like, this is great. Now give me instructions or the prompt, I should say, for lovable AI app builder in where I can create this as an application with a landing page, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the prompt in here. Now, again, the reason why I did this is because then I can add my own calendar and my own login form or send the information after they log in as we go in through there. Now, because Claude knows Lovable and it knows most of the app builders, it will actually know how to basically create this in order in a prompt that will make sense to Lovable. Now you see, and then here's the other thing too, in Lovable, I pay for credits. In Claude, I do not. I have a much bigger context window. So this is also another way that I do in order to save money on the credits I get promoted with Lovable. For anybody that doesn't know what Lovable is, it's basically an AI app builder that allows you to build apps. It's that simple. And we're going to go deeper into this, but what we're going to do is we're going to make it so it's super light. So it's easy for everybody to kind of do this. Anybody can create a quiz. I'm walking through the exact process of the way I'm doing it now. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this prompt. I'm just going to copy it. It went a little longer than it should have, but let's see how it does. Because sometimes if you do too long of a prompt and lovable, it kind of acts freaky, but whatever. We're going to try it out. And we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna let this thing cook. This thing is gonna take a few minutes to kind of build. And in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect the two things that I need inside of high level. The first and foremost is I'm gonna need a calendar. The reason is, is because I want somebody to book an appointment after they complete the quiz, depending on what their score is. I don't wanna build another app. I don't wanna create another page. I wanna make this as quick as humanly possible to see if I can do this even less than 20 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to calendars. If you don't know how to build the calendars, watch one of the videos inside of the channel. I pretty much have like videos on how to do all this stuff. You're gonna come in here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say this is gonna be a service cal or complimentary strategy session, perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit share options and I'm gonna leave this open because this is the embed code that I need. So when you click on the calendar that you want to use, right, we'll just use a test event. It doesn't really matter which one we use. 20 minute strategy call. Perfect. Right here. I'm going to hit share calendar in the share calendar. We're going to click on this embed code and we're going to leave it open. The other thing that I'm going to do is duplicate the tab. I'm going to open up a duplicate window, go to the automations. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a webhook. I'm going to create a folder and we're going to do 000.ai quiz builder. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go here. And basically what I'm going to do is just find the folder one that I just created. There it is, AI Quiz Builder. I'm going to create a workflow. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch because I want to take the information that we build inside of there and put it into here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type in AI Quiz Builder Lead. And then the first thing I'm going to do, hit Add New Trigger, do the Inbound Webhook. Instead of Inbound Webhook, I'm just going to leave this open. Now I'm going to tell you why I use this because one the second somebody fills out the quiz, I want to send all the information to this webhook. And then afterwards I want to embed the actual calendar inside the ending page of the quiz in order for us to receive that information, right? So I'm going to come over here. It's still going. So we're going to give this a couple more seconds and then we'll be right back. All right. As you can see, this comes in, started the free assessment, boom, boom, boom. So it looks a little nicer, right? Again, not too much different than what we've expected. Boom. Critical action steps needed. Readiness score. 25 bubble gain, schedule free consultation. Okay, now we're gonna change this up a little bit. Let's make the last slide where we ask for first name, last name, email. And I also want to make sure that the scoring makes sense. Only hundreds get a perfect score. Everyone else needs to be put into a level and make sure that the scoring is accurate, okay? Because again, sometimes AI just likes to make up stuff. Send all the information after the quiz to this webhook. Now, because it's AI, it knows what a webhook is. Now, the webhook is where I want all the information to go inside a high level. So I'm going to copy this over here, all right? I'm going to paste it. And then the last part is going to be, please also have this calendar embedded on the last page, inviting them to book 15 minute complimentary 
review and call. All right, now here is the embed code. Now again, because this is AI, it will know that it can actually put this in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, grab the embed code, which is this script right here, copy that, and then drop it in here. All right, now I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna let this thing cook again. Now, with us taking the quiz on the last, it should collect all the information, we hit submit, and then it should take us right into basically doing the transformation. Notice that there's no entryway meaning I'm not putting anything from part of collecting an email. I want people to get their quiz score afterwards and then right off the bat, I don't wanna waste any screen time. I wanna show them the actual calendar where they can go ahead and book the appointment, right? So we're gonna let this thing again go with the goal being that we're gonna be able to do this in a very short time. And then I'm gonna show you how to basically accept the information directly into high level using the webhook like we did before and adding a couple of other things like tagging and everything else to make it super easy for you. All right, it looks like all the improvements been done. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and reset it. So that's a little search up there and let's go ahead and retake the quiz. Let's go to actually the landing page. If you go up here, by the way, you'll see all the different pages. So let's just go to the main page, okay? And by the way, you can go ahead and make this a little bit different. You can reset the landing page. I like the ones it creates, I gotta be honest, and doing something quick, this is pretty damn good. So I'm gonna come over here, okay? All right, and we're just answering any questions. It didn't do it. We're gonna say, who did not ask for email, first name and last name in the quiz. I need that with the quiz score to be sent to the webhook provided. And you did not add the calendar, which I gave you the embed for. No idea why I didn't do that. Let's try it again. All right, well, our app came back. Now we have a quiz and let's actually go all the way back to retake the quiz because now it should ask for name and email. Let's see, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, see my results and it automatically goes in there and lo and behold, here's my calendar, perfect. At least the app is working exactly as it needed to. Now, what we're gonna do is if we did this right, then we can fetch simple requests and there's the payload. Payload just means it's all the information that got carried over. And what I'm looking for specifically is, has the answers of what I had, it has a score, and it has the actual first name and last name, which is perfect for now. We could always do a little bit more later on. The second I hit save action, it's gonna immediately create a contact. This is important because in creating a contact, we wanna pass in all the fields that we just collected. So we're gonna come over here, and the first thing we're gonna do is first name, all right? Come over here to this little tag thing, which is where all the custom values are stored. Now it's very important, you're gonna hit inbound webhook, first name. Now you're gonna add a field, come in here, and uh, this is gonna be last name, okay? Last name, inbound webhook, last name. And then last but not least is gonna come over here, we're gonna select email, okay? Click on email, come over here, inbound webhook, email, and the last we're gonna do is, we're gonna use the score, and it could be, we're just gonna do any score right now, just so then it doesn't matter. You would create a custom field to basically capture this because then you would want to collect the score. The reason is because we can do a lot of really cool things with the score. So if I come over here, I'm going to go inbound webhook, go to score, boom, and now I hit save action. Now, because I did this, I can go on with the automations in here. First off, I can do a tag. So add a contact tag, and this is going to be AI quiz. All right. So then I know where they come from. Hit save action. I can also do an email, you know, again, congratulations, your score is. So I'm gonna come over here, type in score, AI score, make a really nice email, or go back to Claude is, create an email that a customer would get regardless of score and asking them to book an appointment, okay? And then we're gonna let that cook there. And then what I could also do is, once I get that email, by the way, and your AI score, and I can put it right here, inbound webhook. Remember, I got the score, so I can also put that has a request. I can also build out this email using the values I got from the webhook. So, all right, we got everything that we need and I'm just waiting for Claude to create me a quick little email. There's the thing, I'm just gonna say, oh look, it's the alternative shorter version, your score, blah, 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 boom, perfect. Because remember, I can do whatever I'd like and I can put in the score here. So I'm gonna go here. And basically where it says first name, obviously we're gonna just replace this with contact, first name, enter, enter your score, delete it, come over here. Again, remember we would have it under inbound webhook and I have the score ready and I could do all kinds of things, you know, blah, blah, blah. Again, we could fill it in and just make it a nicer email, but the problem is, is that I don't wanna do this right now, so we won't do it. And then from there, even if I wanna take it further, I could do an if else and I could say, if the score, right, because the inbound webhook score greater than or equal to, let's say 80%, 
at a branch, let's say above 80. Okay. This can be a branch that it's between, let's say 79 and 50. All right. So I can come in here, webhook trigger. It's going to be score is let's say less than or equal to 79 and score is contact details again webhook score is greater than or equal to we'll do 51 okay like that it keeps directly in there and then the last branch being below 50 and then i can have whatever fun i want in this i can go in here and basically get anybody to do pretty much anything on there so i'm going to come over to again inbound webhook cool going to be the score is less than or equal to, you know, we'll do 50. All right. Now I got three paths that I can basically come in here and do something with. If I wanted to write separate emails or so forth and so on. Right now, the next thing we've got to do is make this live and just use the hosting that's directly on Lovable to make it super easy. So if I go to publish on the top right hand side and I go to custom domain, I can come in here and connect a domain. Now I'll use something like go dot to make it super easy. So I'm gonna hit connect. All right, so here I click on connect the domain. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna put in AI quiz and I'm gonna put, again, I wanna use a subdomain. Great for subdomains to do that. It's gonna automatically go to DNS. And I already logged into Cloudflare, so I'm gonna hit authorize Cloudflare. And ladies and gentlemen, we will have our own little tiny app inside of Cloudflare, perfect. And then what's really cool is you could change the icon, a two minute assessment. Look, it kind of wrote it all together. And then basically if I wanna go and live on this thing, I'll be able to go live because I've already added a custom domain to it, which it should have been connected. I don't know why it's not, that's kind of weird. Let's try this again. Quiz, okay, continue. That was really weird. Authorize, be there, authorize again. Okay, cool. So sometimes this needs a domain and not connected. Uh, there was an error. Okay, regardless of which, this is how you would do it. Probably having an error for whatever reason, but just know that that's typically it. And then what you would do is you would basically have an interactive quiz that you can give to people that you can generate leads on. But now not only is it interactive, but you're also asking for an appointment. And on top of it, you're sending all the information back. All you would have to do is hit publish and save and you are ready to rock and roll. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>